loco, so stupid, I'm loco, and you nigga no so. Yeah, yo, all I know is yeah, yo. Every time she hit the block, that hoe she be on go mode. And if you try to rob me, swear to God, it be a no no. So stupid, I'm loco, and you nigga no so. Hey, what's up, world? It's your girl Brittany, and today I have Memphis's own Snooty Wow. What's going on? Yeah, what do, what do, what do? How are you? Blessed, tired. Blessed, tired, those are all really good things. Most definitely. True. So. Um, wait, so Yayo is the craziest song out right now. Oh yeah, come on. It's taking over the city, taking over the world. Taking, sure I... taking over our brains. Yeah. Because you hear it one time and then you be like, oh, I know, Yayo. That's it. It's stuck with And then that's it. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? Like people don't listen to hip hop. Like I was singing, and mom's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I'm like, "Mom, like, put this in your chill. Like, let me sh let me put you on to something." She was like, "Oh, I heard this song on the radio before." <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, you have." Um, so how have you been enjoying your success? You know, work. Uh, letting me know that I'm coming to something, doing something right in my life for the first time. So you know, I'm enjoying. It. Okay. Okay. So can you explain to our viewers what go mode is? Go mode. Anybody don't know what go mode means, that means if you stop going, you might as well die. You might as well stop breathing. Like you can't you can't live without movement, without doing something with your life. You know what I'm saying? Just sitting there not doing anything, you're not existing. So always have your mind on go mode. Don't never stop going. You have a lot of Spanish words. <laughs> and yeah, yo. You like macho, guapo, oh <laughs> nacho. You know a lot of Spanish? I let me go. No, I know I got a uh, got Spanish people in my family. Okay. So you know I'm mixed with a little bit of fires through that through my jeans. Mm -hmm. Uh we got a couple of Spanish friends out there in the streets. So I just kinda get it. I, my translation comes from them. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm like, yo, I'm like, am I speaking Spanish right now? I don't know. Snoopy gotta speak in Spanish out here. Hey, both too. Yeah. yeah. Bilingual out here. Exactly. True. So you got your name actually from your father, right? Right. Um, and your father was kind of a mover shaker in the streets. Right, right, most definitely. Most um, definitely. Legendary in the streets, North Memphis. Uh, his name was Snooty. Like we we actually got the same first real name and nickname. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you know, he was a legend in the streets, so of course I I, I enjoy my name, I love my name. Like a pass. True. You know what I'm saying? The wow, they, you know, they just come from living. They just come from being in the streets, in and out of incarceration. So they just put it together and it made sense. Mm -hmm. And you spent uh, four, years. four years in prison. Right. That's a you know, significant amount of time. Right, no doubt. Um, so how has it changed you? Uh, I, 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 I most definitely say it wisened me up. You know what I'm saying? As far as what I need to do as a man. I, you know, I got kids out there, so being away from them, not being able to just control the situation of what I'm used to controlling, mm -hmm. let me know the state. You know what I'm saying? It broke me down to being humble and start being more wise on my approach on life. You know what I'm so that's why I'm where I'm in there. True. So, what kind of, what were you kind of doing that kind of landed you in it? Was it like probation violations and. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, anything you can think of that a person I'm supposed to be doing in the streets. Mm -hmm. Fire is. Uh, Going to jail just, just made that one mistake that got me caught up. You know what I'm saying? I could be a robber, so. Uh, you know. Stab the streets, that's what I'm gonna tell you first. Stab the streets if you can. You know what I'm we get blessed to get up out of the streets, man, and stay up out of it. Yeah. yeah. So, when you were in prison, did you write a lot? Did you read a lot? Of course. I know you probably was in there doing hella push ups, right? Yeah, most definitely. Trying to burn time, I guess. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, uh, basically, with the music on the writing part, that was like an outlet while I was in there. Uh, just free my mind to get me up out there cell. So that's why I crafted the way I did. That's why, I, you know what I'm saying, my, my, my delivery the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually took it personal instead of just a habit. It was some way it would be a hobby. You know what I'm saying? I took it personal and made it a part of me. So when I got out, nah, I didn't write. You know what I'm saying? Things that y'all heard, like the Yayo -Yo song. It, and that's, that's not written. It's straight from the hip, you know what I'm saying? It's a part of me. Mm -hmm. So I get this with Jill did for me, fires with that music, just made it more easy to work. I'm giving y'all me. You have this new record too with K-Camp. Shout out to K-Camp, my little homie. K-Camp yeah. was here yesterday. Uh, okay, that's what it was. Yeah, so him. he, you know, 
Yeah, we on that grind, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he respect my music, I respect his music. You heard me. Uh, reached out, reached out to me. Uh, I think I was just leaving the show. Yeah, we was just leaving the show, like somewhere, some part of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And uh, we was going through Atlanta, I got that call. You know what I'm saying? He wanted me to come to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Vibe with him, which it was a good vibe, great vibe. Now we got this great hit coming out. That's that shit that made me. So y'all look out for it. True. Um, so let's talk about growing up in Memphis. Um, kind of how was it for you? Like, who were some of the people <coughs> that you looked up to musically? Because I know, like, a lot of people obviously. Your mentor, Yo Gotti, kind of right. took you in, and then you know everybody knows you, CJ and Three Six Mafia. Right. right. Um, so, who, what was it kind of like the music scene for you growing up? Uh, them basics right there. Got it. Uh, Three Six Mafia. You no know, Project Pat, most definitely mm -hmm. one of the people I was listening to. Player Fly. Uh, Jeezy. Just people that can relate to my struggle. You know, the joy of Memphis rappers. We can relate to each other because we're from Memphis, so. Uh, but just the main right, the main people right there, kind of like they really related to me on what they done and what they been through and what they experienced in the street. So, Jeezy, Ti, Gotti, of course, Project Pack, Player Fly was the main basic people I used to listen to. Right, and then Ti got on that um, yeah, yeah remix though too, right? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. So that was dope. Yeah, most definitely. That was a big, that was a big look. Shout out to my big brother Ti, looking out for him. So what um are you working on right now? Uh, we got the CMG mixtape chapter one coming out. Okay. It's coming out next week. Shout out to Big Brother God and Zed Zilla, Wade Chappelle, y'all know what it is. That's the team. Uh, my mixtape will probably be out a month after this. Snoo the Wild Go Mode. Y'all already know what Go Mode means. So I know. Man, we ain't gotta break that down. <laughs> go, go get it. <laughs> All I know, you know what it is. What Snoo the Wild and you watching Global Grind TV? Huh? Awkward. I don't know. This is how they do it, right? They rub it like this, and then they. Hmm, isn't it? Yes. He's been gone since November 20. I know the dates because it was the day my father was taken away.